Hey man, what's going on man? It's your boy CatGasMG back with another video man and today, you can tell by the thumbnail, you can tell by the title exactly what's going on bro. Back with another discussion video. Once again, the topic is Marvel's Avengers and as you can see, we're going to be doing things a little bit different in this video. We're going to be tackling two characters for uh, this little How Would They Play series man. Those characters are Ant-Man and the Wasp now. The reason why I'm going to do two characters in this video is because not only are they similar in movesets man, I feel like their story together will tie in perfectly and progress this story uh, of the game overall man you know very similar to clint's and uh kate's operations i feel like uh ant-man and the wasp will be just like that far as you know progressing the story and kind of going off of each other's operations so uh with that being said i'm gonna try to move through this as fast as i can i don't want these videos to be too long so um i am gonna talk about the story and all that i'm gonna put a chapter for the move set if you want to go straight there but um let's jump right into the story now first off i want to say Overall, as far as the comics, man, I had I had thought that the game was gonna go to try to go in the comic route with Hank Pym and the creation of Ultron. Now, Ultron is pretty much how I'm thinking is gonna be the next big bad. I don't know if this is gonna be after the Korean invasion or if you know with Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch with those characters, if that's gonna be a phase and then we're gonna get an Ultron phase. Like, say for instance, right now we're in the Korean invasion phase. Maybe after this, we could get the Ultron phase with the Wasp and all that and then after that we could get a mystical threat phase with like uh dormammu or you know mephisto and all these type of characters with dr strange and scarlet witch so if we're looking at it in that type of way next up you know in just my prediction or you know uh the scenario next up would be this ultron uh phase where he is the big bad where we see him progress up until we fight him or we fight him multiple stages i think the characters that would come in that phase would be the wasp and ant-man most definitely man in the comics hank pym was the one that created uh ultron and we seen how that went in the movies in the comics after ultron was created it's pretty pretty similar to the movies he uh started thinking for himself became violent and wanted to destroy the avengers he also wanted to get vision's body as well in the comics so i feel like that part would play a smooth thing with this game i feel like vision would be another expansion maybe it could be like wasp ant-man and then vision is that expansion character coming in in the uh, quote-unquote ultron phase but now in the comics like i said hank pym created ultron janet uh the wasp janet van dyne was hank pym's uh, girlfriend i don't think they were married just yet but ultron was looking at hank pym as a dad and janet as a mother man and uh vision would soon to be like a grandchild since that was almost the uh son of ultron i guess you can say but um with hank pym already creating roy and all these different roys and we've seen roy mess with the cosmic cube i definitely think they're gonna go in that route where ultron is made by hank pym but i found out some very interesting news that i did not no man we know hank pym is out of the fight man he can't turn into ant-man anymore or he will die but scott lang is still a possibility and that is the character that uh this game is gonna go for man i was looking stuff up on the internet man trying to find any other teases to these characters and there is an indeed a tease to scott lang man actually a conversation between bruce and hank pym is said in the uh main campaign when you first are uh in the anthill man bruce straight up asks where is scott you know have you heard from scott uh, uh, Hank Pym says no, he's off the grid, yada yada yada. So it seems like after A Day and the whole AIM situation, um, like I was saying, a lot of these characters are they've been established with the team, but nobody really knows where they are now. So uh, Scott Lang is indeed Ant Man in this universe. Um, he is around, he is there. Well, he's not around, but he's in the universe, and he is the Ant Man that I think we're going to be getting. Now, next up is the Wasp, and this was crazy here. So if you go to the codex and you scrum around in these files, man, you see see that hope him is is two letters where hope him is actually in she's not talking hank is actually writing these letters to hope but just seeing that name we know that hope him will be the wasp in this game man now janet van dyne is the one who you know 
Janet, it was it was her, Hulk, Iron Man, and Thor. I think that started the Avengers. You know, Janet invited She Hulk, yada yada yada. I think they're definitely gonna touch on that still. You know, it should be teases. Maybe we can even get some audio files from uh Janet, maybe. Maybe she won't be playable, but we can see her. So uh I think they're definitely gonna try to go in the route of the movies rather than in the comics. Or it's gonna be like a perfect match of the movies and the comics when it comes to Ant Man and the Wasp. So uh, I feel like the Wasp will be Hope Pym and uh, Ant-Man will be Scott Lang and we'll probably see their relationships very similar to the movies because the OGs would be Hank and Janet so we're getting the newcomers coming in but they're still pretty established I don't think the Wasp uh, Hope Pym in this game is the Wasp yet she's uh, trying to find her dad she's uh, know about AIM and all this stuff and the, and the letter uh, that uh, Hank wrote to her he was saying how you apologize yada 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 she was right so I think they're gonna introduce Wasp like they did in the movie she becomes the Wasp gets the suit yada 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 and uh we can see that progress seeing that scott and hope was already teasing this game a long time ago man and i'm just not realizing it was crazy man it was wild to see those names dropped in the game like that but um yeah that's pretty much it for the story man now for the rest of this video i'm gonna look at the ant-man and the wasp i'm gonna do them individually uh talk about their move set and then go over to the wasp now should it shouldn't take too long because honestly there's not too much they can do like a lot of stuff like dr strange and scarlet witch anyway their move set is a little bit more regular i guess you can say if you take away their abilities anyway but let's start with ant-man bro and we know ant-man can shrink that's his main thing we already have pin particles in the game uh so i feel like that's definitely gonna be a part of his moveset most definitely a uh, 100 but it's just about how he's gonna go about it now we know he can fight but his his strength is on a regular human's level so i feel like he wouldn't be too much of the combat he would definitely pull up punch and kick i feel like growing and shrinking will be a part of his combos you know what i'm saying keep uh spamming light attacks you might shrink punch around grow back to regular size punch around shoot a blast he does have a um so i think it's a little gauntlet where he can shoot a blast off uh, i definitely think that would be his range but i feel like it would be uh, a part of his moveset as well man he has these fire bioelectric blasts so you can do that as a range but also a part of his combo now as far as flying man definitely would <laughs> be very funny to see him flying on the ant that is his transportation so summon the ant and you can fly on that ant and you know move through the map that's definitely got to be his flying or you know his traversal now for his intrinsic man like i was saying they don't have too many different uh or you know unique abilities i've been looking stuff up but they seem like the pin particles and their shrinking abilities are their main things now obviously the game could try to add something different give them new power similar to how they did kate with the whole teleportation and uh, all that so maybe they could add in something new before intrinsic i really don't know maybe it could just be like an energy meter similar to uh, Kamala so maybe he can grow a little bit while you're holding that meter down maybe something like that could uh, be what we see for Ant-Man and possibly the Wasp but we're gonna talk about her later now let's move into the heroics for the support I definitely think that she utilize some type of ant uh shield maybe you can call a bunch of ants i feel like that would look crazy in game with a bunch of ants cover you but what if your whole body is covering the ants <laughs> can't take damage or they a big ant would just kind of be there uh to uh like kill some of the enemies off similar to how the kamoyo beads are uh you send those out they stay around you they do damage to your enemies where you can do a takedown maybe something like that where you have like some flying ants just like following you and when they get close to an enemy they can like put them in a a, a, a stun phase where you can take them down or something like that maybe something like that for a takedown i mean not a takedown but a, a support heroic now for his assault like i said for the range he does have a little gauntlet where he can shoot some blasts i see maybe something like that but instead of a blast where it just does like some type of shock damage maybe he can shoot either a blast that makes it would probably be to make an enemy smaller instead of making them bigger i couldn't see a reason to make an enemy bigger that would just probably be uh you know a disadvantage for you so making an enemy smaller and maybe it can do shock damage at the same time make them small they're shocked and they're in a stuck stun phase man and then you can just finish them off or if you have your skill you know set up you know your heroic is like 3000 or higher for the damage if you shoot that and they get smaller and they're stuck with that shock damage they'll just 
just die and it doesn't have to be shock damage you know with all these different statuses maybe you can you know vibranium gamma yada 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 but they get small and they're dead so it's pretty much how you know we got the pim status effect and we can make enemies smaller this would just be an assault heroic where you shoot off a blast make them smaller or maybe you can throw a disc you know how in the movie uh ant-man has those discs uh i think he only has a disc to make things bigger but maybe it can be to make things smaller you know and then that could go into play also i just thought about this for the intrinsic like i said uh if you hold that down he can get bigger you can also maybe hold that down and he will get smaller it'll be very interesting to see combat with somebody that small it'll be smooth if they make things around you look kind of like dusty you see like dust particles and all that and it's kind of blurred around you since you're so small i think they had that same type of visual effect in the movie so that would be pretty smooth as well now for his ultimate man i definitely think he should grow in size now i know at this point it's starting to get very similar to Kamala but I think Ant-Man can grow bigger than Kamala or at least as big as she was in the ending of the main campaign now I don't know how gameplay would be in that form I don't know if they'll break the game or not so if they can't do gameplay with him being that big maybe they just it's like a cinematic where you grow grow as big as you can 60 feet however he, uh, tall he said he was or how tall he can get and maybe he can just do like a giant stump and cause massive uh, damage to the area and all opponents that's around, man. And they'll just be like a cinematic, and you know you can upgrade it and make more damage. So it's almost like an instant kill on whatever he stumps on. I feel like something like that would be smooth uh, to see in the game, man. I think he did a move similar in Civil War and on Endgame, you know, where he just stumps when he's in that giant form. So I feel like that would be smooth there. And that's really all I have for Ant Man, man. Now let's move on to the Wasp Man and her move set, man. She is a fighter similar to ant-man she can hold her own she can fight so um yeah definitely want to see some combat going in i'll probably be having clips of like contest a champion in the back or something but she can fight very similar to ant-man as she's fighting she can get smaller do some punches uh maybe a blast or heavy so like a blast get small yada 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 kicks punches uh fly around you know what i'm saying uh, between combos i feel something like that would be smooth definitely utilize her uh wings speaking of her wings she can definitely fly now it would be cool if she can get tiny when she flies and maybe that can like increase speed say for in uh, instance like maybe a skill could be you know how you hold a well, x for uh iron man and thor to speed up maybe if you do that for a character like the wasp she will get tiny and she will speed up a little bit i feel like that would be pretty cool to add in the game for her ranged man similar to ant man once again some blast now on contest of champions there's actually a move that may could be her ultimate i'm probably gonna say this for her ultimate but she can shoot uh, a disc remember the disc i was talking about that can make things grow she shot a disc it was like a candy bar and it made it grow and it landed on the opponent i feel something like that would honestly be fit for ant man since it's kind of more of a goofy character especially if they're basing it off of the movies but either or could work since they're so similar but for uh, a range man some type of blast or you can throw a disc to make your uh, opponent smaller or an uh, object bigger uh to land on the opponent now for the uh heroic for the support i honestly don't know what a good support could be man like i was saying these two characters really don't have too many other abilities at the end of the day they're both are just humans with a suit and uh the ability to make themselves smaller or bigger so with that being said uh i don't know what i could say for support you guys can always help me out with that obviously it could maybe they could give them something maybe a shield or some type of healing thing um i don't think the wasp has actual wasps that can you know fly around with her but it could be some type of tech that maybe we haven't seen in the movies or the comics that they give her or that hank even makes uh for hope that she can use as a support so i'm gonna leave that in the air open to any opinion or you know let me see hear some of your thoughts or see some of your thoughts down in the comments but let's move on into the assault heroic for the assault heroic definitely got to be that wasp thing man i'm pretty sure janet hope nadia all the people that took on the wasp use this move the little gauntlet where she shoots a blast i actually think it's from her is it from her hands i believe it's from her hands actually but little blast man there was i think it was what was the ultimate alliance where when she's shooting these blasts she actually gets small and she's like rapid fire key blast that would be small well, not actually key blast but that, that's just how it looks so if she can get small and shoot these blasts off for uh assault i feel like that would be pretty smooth now for her ultimate like i 
was saying earlier uh, on Contest of Champion, it looked like her finishing move was she threw a disc at an object and she made it big and it landed on their opponent doing damage. I could either see something like that or a bigger wasp thing where it's like a bigger blast, a bigger explosion, almost like you're holding it and it gets bigger, 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 and then it explodes. You know what I'm saying? Something like that, maybe like a charge wasp thing or you... uh take an object and slam it on your opponent by using one of those uh, discs that can grow an object so uh that's that what i came up for the uh skill sets or move sets for ant-man and the wasp like i always say man you guys leave your thoughts down in the comments uh we're coming close to like 20 19 minutes i really didn't want it to be this long but i had a feeling it was going to be kind of long since i'm tackling two characters now i'm gonna end this up i'm not gonna try to talk too much longer if i miss anything y'all guys can always correct me down in the comments but um yeah that's it for them i will be doing vision next and um, I'm probably going to stop after that. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed any part of this video, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell so you know what I'm posting, man. Share the content. Share the channel. Do all of that. I'll see y'all in the next one. It's your boy Kage SMG. Peace. <laughs>